Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your Asus laptop to a factory state. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial in store for you guys today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And now that we have the start menu open, just want to left click on the little settings icon on the left here that looks like a little gear icon. And when you hover over it, it says settings. Alternatively, you could type in settings into the start menu. Doesn't really matter, so long as we get to the settings window you see right here. Now you want to scroll down until you get to the update and security tile, and left click on that one time. Now on the left, left click on recovery. And now underneath, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them, and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on the button right here that says Get Started. Now underneath Choose an Option, we're presented with two different options here. First option is to keep your files, second option is to remove everything. Even if you do select keep your files, it will still remove apps and settings. I would recommend that you still create a backup of any important documents or files to an external media source. Um, if you choose to do that, I would highly recommend that you still create a backup because there's no guarantees. And the second option, which will remove everything, which is a complete factory reset, which is what we're going to be doing for this tutorial, which will remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings. So I'm going to left click on that option to get started. And there's a couple more prompts we're going to have to go through, so just hang tight. We're going to have to finish this up. So it's going to prompt you if you want to clean the drives too. If you're going to be holding on to your computer and you also want a faster experience, I would recommend selecting the first option, which will just remove your files. Second option, remove files and clean the drive. This will take longer, but if you're going to be donating it or giving it to somebody else, I would select the second option. But like I said, for most people, the first option should be sufficient and should suffice. And then finally, we're going to get this area that says ready to reset this PC. Resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC, all apps and programs, and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button right here to begin this process. It will take some time, so please be patient let it run. And once we get back to something that requires some more explanation, I'll jump back in on the narration side.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the End User License Agreement. You can use Express Settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. 
and you can go through and check them out on your own but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are and I'm going to select next here I'm going to select next again again and you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back. So it looks like our Asus laptop has been restored back to a factory clean state. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. Would recommend creating some backups and restore points now that your computer is all set up. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.